Hey, it's Niall. I'm here in London and today, thanks to a really kind reader on my blog, I scored a couple of free grounds passes to Wimbledon. You got me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. You got me loose and set me free. You make me Big thanks to Mikal for the tickets. Really appreciate it, man. Yesterday was Monday and I was at the British Museum. Today is Tuesday and I'm here at Wimbledon and that's why I love not having a regular job because I'm free to do things like this during the week. But let's get to the main thing. What I want to talk to you about today is managing energy. I'll share with you something I read about in a book called The Power of Full Engagement. It's very appropriate that I'm here at Wimbledon today because in that book there's mention of a study of world-class tennis players and what they found in that study was that the very best tennis players had precise routines that they'd perform in the 16 to 20 seconds between points. <laughs> Quoting from the book, these routines included the way the players walked back to the baseline after a point, how they held their heads and shoulders, where they focused their eyes, the pattern of their breathing, and even the way they talked to themselves. And apparently when they actually monitored the heart rates of top tennis players, they found that between points, their heart rates would drop by as much as 20 beats per minute. But the players who didn't perform any kind of between point routines, their heart rates would usually stay high all the way through their matches, no matter how fit they were. So if you can imagine then two players of fairly equal talent and fitness playing a big long tennis match against each other, say one has his routines and is recovering between points, but the other doesn't do that. Who do you think will have more energy at the end? Obviously, it'll be the guy taking all the little breaks throughout the match, right? And related to this, you know my favorite sport is basketball, so let me tell you quickly about an article I read recently about LeBron James. According to this article, last season, on average, LeBron was actually one of the slowest players in the league, which sounds crazy because he's an absolute superstar. But the explanation is that James rests quite a lot between plays. Quoting from the article, during free throws, James will often walk to the other end of the floor. It saves him having to run when possession changes. He also, at times, will take himself out of an offensive play and stand on the wing, knowing he needs a breather. And James himself is quoted in the article as saying, it's just trying to save pockets of energy throughout, especially the second half when I know it's going to be a possession game. I try to save pockets of energy when I know I'm going to be needed later. And that phrase right there is key, saving pockets of energy. Even if you're not a professional athlete, in the modern world, it's easy to feel like we have more things to do than we have time to do them. So you could also probably benefit from regularly saving pockets of energy yourself. And there are two ways to do that. One is through short, regular routines like those used by the pro tennis players between points. You could model that by doing a few yoga stretches at regular times throughout the day, or maybe some breathing exercises, maybe some meditation, that kind of stuff. And it doesn't have to take long at all. Even 20 or 30 seconds can make a big difference. And you're not just saving your energy that way, but you can be recovering your energy as well. And the second way you can save energy throughout the day is to take a cue from LeBron James and be very selective about how you spend your energy in the first place. A good starting point for this is to actually list out all the people and activities in your life that tend to drain your energy and try to weed out those that are really costing you. And even weeding out just one or two big ones can make a huge difference. God damn it, Katie, you're suffocating me. I'm choking, all right? Give me some breathing room. So to summarize really quick, 
If you want to manage your energy better throughout the day, first set up some routines for yourself that will help you save and replenish your energy. And second, figure out what people or activities are draining you of your energy and eliminate those as best you can. All right, that'll do it, folks. I'm going to go try and see another match here or just wander around. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button. Click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.